Hello, I'm Eric from AWS. Today, I will demonstrate how to discover and enable skills for your users using Alexa for Business. Alexa for Business lets you use Alexa to voice enable your workplace by providing the tools you need to manage Alexa devices, skills, and users at scale, and an API to build custom, context-aware voice skills for your organization. Today, we're going to review how to discover and enable public skills on your shared devices. Then, we'll review and enable private skills for our shared devices and for enrolled users. Finally, we'll cover master account linking and room account linking. Alexa for Business makes it easy to manage which skills are available on sets of devices using skill groups. It also allows you to choose specific private skills that are made available to your enrolled users to help ensure that only the right people receive access to your private information. Now, let's walk through a few terms that we're going to use. Private skill, an Alexa skill that is not available in the Alexa Skills Store. For example, this might be a CEO flash briefing or even cafeteria menus. Enrolled user, a user who has invited to and linked their personal Amazon account to an Alexa for Business organization. Shared device, a device in a common area, like a conference room, and it's not associated with a specific user's Amazon account. Account linking, the process used to connect the identity of an end user with a user in another system, commonly used with smart home skills. In our previous video introducing room configuration, Kevin helped create some skill groups for AWS headquarters representing all rooms, video conferencing rooms, non-video conferencing rooms, and phone booths. Let's add the public skill Wikipedia to our non-video conferencing rooms and phone booths. This will help our employees ask Alexa to look up information from Wikipedia when there isn't a screen to share that information. Start by clicking on the Skills menu option. Click on the Alexa Skills Catalog tab. This catalog contains any public Alexa skills that you can find today. Let's search for Wikipedia. We've found the skill, so now I will enable it. Now, head to the Enabled Skills tab and look for Wikipedia. I'll click the checkbox next to the skill and then select to add to skill group. Here, we will select our non-video conferencing and phone booth skill groups. To wrap things up and make this skill available in those rooms, click Add. Great, we got a success message indicating that this skill was assigned to our skill groups, and thus the rooms that have those skill groups now have the Wikipedia skill. Next, we will review the process of reviewing and enabling a private skill. In this example, we will also use a skill that requires account linking to show that process. In AWS, and like many of our customers, we have many acronyms that are specific to our employees. To help with that problem, we've developed an AWS Acronym Dictionary skill. We'd like to deploy this to all of our rooms. Before doing this step, a skill developer built this dictionary skill and marked the skill as private. Then, the skill developer distributed it to our Alexa for Business account. You can find more details on building and distributing private skills on our website. Start by clicking on the Skills menu option, and then click on the Private Skills tab. Here, we see that there is an option for an AWS acronym dictionary. First, click Review in order to double check what this skill does and to make sure we're OK bringing this into our company. Since I'm satisfied with these details, I'll click Enable. For the purposes of this demo, this skill also requires account linking with Login with Amazon. You can link skills at the master level, which means all rooms and skill groups that have this skill will use the same account credentials. You can also override the linking in specific rooms. This may be useful for smart home or in scenarios where the individual room identities matter, such as hotels. Now, I will click on the skill name we just enabled and select Link Account. This will now redirect me to the authentication flow specified by my skill. Once I enter my account credentials, I get a success message indicating my skill is linked. When I go to my enabled skills, I can see that the acronym dictionary is here, and I can add this skill to skill groups, the same way I just did it with the public skill. I will add it to the all rooms skill group, so all rooms will now have this skill available. In this video, we learned how to add public skills to our skill groups, review and enable private skills, and perform master account linking. 
Watch the other videos in this series to learn how to create room profiles and skill groups, configure conferencing, and invite users to join your organization. Thanks for watching.